uh, as a first lesson of simulation is simulation by hand before doing it in Excel or in Arena or Simu. I've already did, uh, I did this as a whole task. I did it like solved by hand and I attached a video link as a box description below. So it's better if you go through it before you try this on Excel. So in order to obtain this result, as you would see here, it does the same job as the one I did by hand. Okay, so you have seven jobs. You have the arrival time and we have the service time for every job. And this is a single server system. Okay, so we have a line system in there is a server and then when they finish they leave the system. Okay? And the duration of the study is twenty minutes or hours. Anything after this time the system will uh, we have to stop. So or we only process the that will finish during this twenty minutes or twenty hours. Okay. So uh, let's start with so how did we calculate the waiting time for every step? How did we calculate the waiting time for every step? So it's really easy. Okay, so here we have the start processing. Uh, if the systems arrive at zero, like the job arrive at zero, and the service time is two point, so the start process is exactly the same as default, which is a zero. While here, the start processing is 2.9. We, we're going to consider this equation. If 1.73 like the arrival of the second job is less than uh, the finish of the first job which is 0.9 okay therefore what will happen we have to wait okay so it does not start processing uh, immediately after this so it will be the same as here so you see in this equation if d5 is less than i4 so that will be i4 which is 2.9 if not, it will be D5, which is 1.73. And you would see it here, 15.769, arrival of job 6, okay, is greater than the finished processing of 7.3, so it will start processing this. The second it arrived, because there is no jobs in here. Okay, so this automatically, it will be done, as you see it here. So this one is D4, which is 0 plus E4, and this one, again, we put in another equation, if d5 which is uh, arrival time is less than i4 so it's 1.73 less than 2.9 okay so uh, the finished processing it will be exactly if 1.73 like a second job arrive earlier before processing the first job so the finished processing this will be 2.9 so we have to wait till the first job is finished plus the service time 1.6 otherwise it will be 1.73 plus 0.9 okay so this is the finished processing it works magically and so now we get to the waiting time waiting time is processing minus the arrival time so 0.9 minus 1.73 i would see here okay but how do we get like 18.69 minus this value but we need to calculate one thing like we don't want Okay, actually, I need to fix this. I'm gonna put dollar sign here. Okay, uh, so the reason I did this because I just want this value to be flexible. Like we can change this value does it affect my system. So the waiting time, if the job arrive of 1.73 is uh, start processing, like it arrive at 1.73, but start processing at 2.9, so really it's this one minus that one. The only issue here, like for 18.69 and start processing 18.69, so we consider this job, which is like, the, however, 13.23.05, we said the system will stop at 20, so they waited for 20 minus 19.39. That's what we did in this section. Okay, so time in system is literally time in system is uh, again if I4, let's consider one by one, the finished processing is less than 20, which is the duration. Okay, so time in processing will be 2.9 minus 0. Okay, 4 plus 6 minus 1.73. Like second, it finished from the st like 4.63. Like the time finished processing subtracted from like it arrived to the system okay 
and at the end, uh, if the finished processing is bigger than t, so we consider 20 minus when it arrived to the system. Okay, so now we, we're gonna do the system idle. The system idle here, like for how often the system was idle. So it's H5 minus I4. So it starts processing here at 2.9, it finished. So here is zero. But while in this condition, yes, it finished at 17.03, the job number five. But job number six arrived at 18.69, so this one is idle for 1.66. Okay. Again, finish passing if it is less than 20. So I need to change this one. Well, just one second. And with dollar signs, so when you we drag it, so it will be stable, it will stay at empty. Okay. So the two zeros here literally they didn't finish. And here is a number of the finished jobs. Okay. Okay, so let's continue to see here we have the total waiting time here we have the waiting time for the finished part only and here we have the time in system total time in system okay so if we find the utilization the utilization is literally literally service time okay how much we get service time in total divided by okay so uh, sorry um, so we first start with a number busy. Number busy is 18.34. Again, I need to change this one. And we have to put this sign. Okay, so the number busy is 20, which is the one we have. Okay, minus 1.66 when the sum is the idle. We don't want when the sum is idle because we need to calculate the utilization. Okay. So over at 20 hours, we only had the system idle for 1.66, so it's 13, 18.34. Divided by 20, we get almost 92%. There is a queuing time, okay, is total waiting time divided by number of units in total, because it's seven units. And average total, total time in system, of course, per part is 34.12, okay, divided by the f amount of first part. So here we don't divide by five, divide by this one. Okay. And here we don't divide by E20. So I'm gonna divide by this one. And here okay. So in case we want and the reason we did all this, so if you want to change one of them, like to say, now I'm going to consider to 22 to see what difference it make. Okay. To see what difference it make to the system. I'm going to change to 24. Okay. Now you see uh, the risk path has been considered in the system. So it finished, it started from at 23, it didn't finish, but we have six parts instead of four. If we say, for example, we're going to consider to 39, so all of them, they finished here in the system. Yes, the system is still uh, busier because now we're looking to 38. Okay, so it's 1.66 divided by the percentage idle or 38 minus some amount or 39. Okay, so doing this, you could make it flexible the system. Saying if this 18.69 arrived at uh, 17, which is one here like before job five finished okay so it sees the idle is like zero and we're always busy and by doing this it makes things easier rather than having to type them all the time okay but if you want to have a copy of this self file instead of like going over it and again step by step just email me. my email is a box below again you have to do uh, you have to do the other file which is like a, a, a calculation by 